One of the highest honors a current or former employee of the Legislative Research Commission can receive is the Vic Heller Jr. Award. The award is named for the longtime director of the LRC who played an instrumental role in the modernization of the legislative institution and nonpartisan staffing. The Hellard Award is given each year to someone who served the LRC with skill, dedication, professionalism, integrity, and dignity. In even-numbered years, the award goes to a former staff member. The 2018 finalists are Gordon Adkins, who served as the LRC's telecommunications supervisor until he passed away last year. Joyce Honecker, who served as the committee staff administrator for state government until her 2003 retirement. And Jim Swain, who was the LRC's chief information officer until his retirement in 2016. And the winner of the 2018 Vic Heller Jr. Award is Joyce Honecker. Honecker joined the LRC in 1971 and worked with Hellard all 19 years he served as director. During the nomination process, we heard that you were a manager who knew how to give staff some freedom and flexibility while also holding them to a very high standard. What was your management philosophy here at LRC? I like to operate collegially. I don't like to be a boss. And, uh, so I think, as you said, mentoring and, and bringing them along and uh, exposing them to research ideas and staffing ideas is the way to do it. You know, my hat's off to you because you repeatedly touched a third rail of Kentucky politics, uh, legislative redistricting and uh, you didn't get shocked by it. In fact, it seemed like you grounded the entire process in the, the values of data and analysis and objectivity. How did you avoid getting entangled in this politically fraught issue? Well, I, th I think the key was to provide useful information to all parties, all, all, all members and, and both parties, um, and not favor one or the other in terms of the information they got and the, the assistance they got in drawing plans, um, I think that was crucial. Uh, we heard a lot about the work that you've done internationally, and I have to say I'm jealous. You got to travel to some wonderful places around the world, places like Namibia, Nigeria, Hong Kong. Did this international perspective uh, impact the way you viewed our own legislature here in Kentucky? I came to value it even more because things are so new there as far as the legislative process and the staffing of it. Um, and there was a lot of executive dominance of the, legis the new legislatures, the new parliaments. Um, so I came to appreciate what we had. <laughs> You know, your service to LRC concluded 15 years ago, and yet you are still talked about in the halls of this building uh, and remembered fondly for the work that you did and the professional way in which you did it. But we have a lot of newer employees, younger employees who are joining LRC these days, and I wonder if you have some advice for a person who is just starting their career here at LRC. I say never stop learning. Um, taking cues from the older staffers. That's important to keep, keep going, to keep learning, um, figuring out how to do your job better. What do you think Vic Hellard would say if he was sitting here right now and heard that you had received the Vic Hellard Junior Award? <laughs> oh, he'd probably say, way to go, jurors. <laughs> Honaker was honored on the floor of both the Kentucky House and Senate, and during a reception in the Capitol Annex.